So, Godfrey, one of the key things about Cybos now is the Inner Tribe uh, sessions. I think it started in 2009 in Hong Kong. Tell us a little bit about how that's developed and what it means to the industry. So that's developed very nicely, yes. And Inner Tribe has really gone from strength to strength almost, um, as we are now approaching, I think, the eighth year of Inner Tribe since, uh, since 2009. Um, it's become almost a, a mini Cybos, uh, really focusing on, on fintech uh, and innovation. This year there will be a lot of focus on security and cyber as well, clearly, because we think the two are linked. Uh, not only did innovation lead to the current cyber challenge as we link uh, systems, but it can also be part of the solution. There's a lot of new technologies that can help you secure systems and, and spot transactions, etc. So the two are linked. A lot of, of InnoTribe will be on, uh, on, on security. At the same time, the traditional open view of, uh, of InnoTribe has not gone away. A lot of think outside thinking, where's financial services going? What's the future of money? Big issue debate on, on that one. What are new players? How can they collaborate with the existing players, et cetera? You'll see all of that in the, in the creative setting of InnoTribe. And, and it's an opportunity funny. for fintechs to come and and show what they're doing, what's new, unique. And I think you have this startup challenge, is that right? We have a startup so, so tell challenge. us about that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and that's that's been another uh, good. Uh, we've we've had several winners of startup challenges that have become to uh, that have grown. One of them has become a unicorn, transfer wise. So yeah. That's that's not a bad record uh, there. They won it, I think, four or five years ago. So, so you need to have an investment in these, don't you? Uh, Swift We can, does, we can yeah. debate that. Yeah. <laughs> Hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, but that uh, uh, the other thing I think that's now uh, increasingly visible is what's called RegTech, regulation technology. So uh, a lot of startups in the space of compliance helping banks there. Um, and it's interesting, it continues to be the, the collaboration. Is this a threat to bank or can they collaborate? Can they cooperate uh, to make these things work? And I think you'll witness that, that, that interesting duality of, of competition and at the same right. time working with banks. Now, it's interesting because one area, obviously the big tech area, which is blockchain, we're starting to see people cooperate, aren't we? We've started to see some of the banks come together and look at systems they can use for clearing and settlements of securities. So Absolutely. You know, wh where do you think we are on, on blockchain? On blockchain, I think we are starting to see real applications. People, people have asked, I think last year, that the key question was, you know, blockchain is the solution. What's the problem? Um, I think we're now coalescing around, around uh, back office clearing of certain securities where people see a real potential to, uh, to reduce cost. Uh, we're at that point where, where people are, are turning from basic lab settings to real proof of concepts inside banks, and then we'll see how that plays but out. But it looks like we're going to get sort of a lot of different systems between sort of small groups of banks rather than a universal system. I mean, do you think that's a concern? We'll have to see it play out, I think. Uh, there ha there is, has to be a certain Darwinian element to this to see what works better, etc., before you can launch something uh, bank-wide. Some of the consortia are relatively large. I think R3 has, has over 40 people participating in it, so I, I, I think there are starting to be real numbers. Now the proof of the pudding will be in the actual uh, eating of the blockchain. All right. <laughs> well, let's let's go back to security because you mentioned there that you know technology has created some problems, but it can also be the solution to to, to cybersecurity problems. So, are we going to see a lot of new innovations in that area at Cybos? Absolutely. I think you'll you'll see uh, a number of uh, first of all, you'll see a number of forensics firms at uh, at Cybos who can help banks do the forensics uh, after it. Um, you'll see a number of firms who specialize in detection uh, capabilities in your general environment, endpoint security, um, a lot of new products on the market that improve visibility on the computers that your personnel use across the network, uh, what's happening on your network. Um, you'll see some startups in, in pattern detection and artificial intelligence almost to, to, to spot uh, fraudulent uh, payment patterns across retail, wholesale, what have you. Biometrics, uh, new techniques. So yes, you'll, yeah. you'll, you'll okay. see all of that. Lots of exciting stuff. Thanks very much.